I know this is gonna be a funny video a little later, man. But I'm gonna do this video right now because I feel like it. Um, yo, before this year end, don't wanna make this video. I don't know what I'm gonna title. I'm gonna title this video. I don't know if I'm gonna make it some clickbait. I don't know what I'm going to do with this video. But I need to make this video because I gotta get some things off my damn mind. All right. Me and Tamia have been together for around four years, even though we lose count because we don't even know when we were, when we got together officially because we ever since we met each other we've been with each other every single day um besides you know certain days and, sh and stuff and then our little breakup that we had and all this other stuff right so listen so right now me and Samir we have an issue we have an issue with each other we just got a us a, a new apartment um and everything and all of that and started doing a lot of things at YouTube um, started saying we, 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 we had a little beef with some people that obviously didn't want to answer the call um, and you know I'm thankful to, to me I, I really am I think that I mean she, she had my children that's something I, I would never ever ever take for granted or forget my children are very beautiful i love my children um i always i can't even say i always want to have kids because i don't think that was that's true i never knew if i was going to have kids or not um me and her you know i think that we are the prime um example of you know young people learning um and, and progressing but this video really is just to like get things off my mind but also i'm gonna try to shoot it straight so that i don't gotta watch it again because it's just gonna be me talking about things that you guys want to be nosy about so i'll let y'all be nosy um and i'm gonna just put this thing right up because listen to me it's mad at me because She's acting right now like I cheated on her little behind. All right. Now, listen. As you guys know, with a lot of people that do YouTube, it's a lot of people that try to attack you, attack your relationship, um, attack you spiritually, attack you, uh, attack you physically, and also attack you mentally. When I say attack you physically, I mean, like, people... try to talk about your looks um and down you they try to bully you basically in general some people try to mentally manipulate you some people try to do a lot of things right i'm gonna tell y'all what to me is tripping about and i'm gonna tell y'all what my feeling is on it because at this point the year is about to end me and her was on good terms um and I think it's fair that we are transparent with you guys. Um, but right now, to me, is at work. To me, is not happy with me because a young lady. I, I mean, I gotta go back. So, if you guys don't know, I'm gonna try to sum it up as quick as possible because I actually have somewhere to go, so that I, I, I gotta take the kids somewhere, um, take them out for a little outing, and all that. All right. Anyway, you know how I am. I'm just. I'm always moving but so a few months back me and Tamia broke up I guess you know you know how you how you stop talking to somebody or y'all like get mad at each other and y'all just like go y'all separate ways but y'all didn't break up break up so I mean we I'll consider us broken up she considers us broken up so we break up I moved to California okay 
I moved to California. But before I moved to California, I'm shooting videos for you guys. And if you're a true supporter, true fan, you know that I shot videos, like little sad little videos and all this other stuff. I said, yeah, she didn't love me to stand in third. All right. And if you watch Tamiya's, you know that Tamiya was talking all of this stuff, right? All this stuff. She was basically doing the same thing I was doing, but she was just saying what she wanted to say, and I was saying what I wanted to say. And we was basically internet tag teaming for like one day, and then I stopped, and then she just kept going. Or one week, and I just stopped, and she kept going, literally. But... That's besides the point. So, while I was shooting a video for you guys, me and my friend Lamar went to go rent a car. Went to go rent this car and ran into a young lady that saw this vlogging and a young lady who asked for a channel, gave him a channel, my channel, and that was that. That was that, y'all. That was that. Okay, that was that. So as we sit there and do that, then this young lady, then, when you go on YouTube, we have our Instagram names. She goes and checks out my Instagram. She goes and check out Tamiya's Instagram. She sees on Tamiya's Instagram, Tamiya is blasting me, talking about I'm doing this, talking about I did that, talking about this. Goes on my Instagram, you see nothing about Tamiya. You just see me vlogging. Maybe I made a couple videos about Tamiya. Um, like, oh, she don't love me. Oh, I gotta move on. Next chapter, all that other stuff. So, this young lady then decides, okay, I guess she sees that I wanna have a baby prank. And she sees that, okay, like, oh, they, they, he doing something, they doing something, blah, blah, blah. So then, I cell phone as well. Turns out, this girl that asked for the YouTube was a previous customer of mine. Cause I sold a lot of phones in Philadelphia. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of phones in Philadelphia. I fixed a lot of phones, sold a lot of phones. I had a whole electronic business, everything. So this young lady then DMs me her number. But you know how on Instagram, when somebody messages you, you can see all the previous messages. So this lady DMs me her number and I see all the other previous messages of, hey, I'm interested in an iPhone 7. Do you guys have this? Do you guys have that? Do you guys do this? Do that? So, at that point, she basically sent me her number. I'm guessing because she wanted to either, one, text, two, because I had made a story saying that I was looking for people to help sell phones. Now, this girl's going to lie. To no, stay on track. Stay on track. Sorry guys, I don't know how to do the storytelling, but I'm trying. Let me stick to the story. So I guess she sees me her number for either two reasons. Long story short, I don't text this female. I don't text her. I don't text her. I don't just text random people. Even though, um, okay, yeah. So I wasn't, I, even though me and Tamir was separated, me, my heart was always where like, that was a girl I wanted to marry, this, that, and third, you know, a little, little wishy-washy, squishy-washy, that stuff. So, naturally, I wasn't sitting there worried about talking to nobody. So, I was already into the money, me getting money, not really worrying about anything else. So, when she had sent me the, the number, I saw I worked with her previously. And I'm not going to work with somebody I previously saw the phone with because I don't be, I don't like mixing, like, business with um an employee like i don't i don't hire people i've already done business with really um because it's no point it's just a whole bunch of drama so then from that from that from that this girl waits a little bit sees i see it gets mad because i didn't text her so then she started saying you clown something about like you, you this and you that so me, being a funny guy that I am, I sit there and go on my story and I like make a little thing like at Blase Blase, 
um, you blase blase, I don't know why you blase blase. Like I just call her out, like I don't know why you talking about me like that and talking to me. Like I never responded to it, you know? I'm just like, I don't know why you doing that. Like, like these people being extra. So after I do that, she sends me a screenshot and talking about, oh, really, why you do that? Oh, I got something for you, this, that, and the third. I block her right after that. So meanwhile, me and Tamia, we upset with each other already because we're not together or whatever. And we end up having to go and meet up for something. And when I came back from, so, so I'm already in California now. Like I'm in California, a couple of weeks go by. I, I, I've been not talking to me. So I say like a month and a half go by, I have to meet up in the same room with Tamia because we have to handle some legal business. In the same room that I'm sitting there handling legal business with Tamia at, she's going to sit there and she's like, yeah, somebody said that, um, that you were trying to fly them out to California. I'm like, what? Bitch, what? Immediately in my head, I'm thinking it's the girl. Immediately in my head, like right away in my head, I'm thinking it's the girl. Immediately. So from then, right? From then, BS starts. BS starts. So in my head, I'm like, wow, I don't even address the girl. I don't say that to the girl. I don't think I'm getting back on Natasha. So I'm like, what? Like, I just don't answer. I'm just like, what? Look at her like she crazy. Like, I never, ever, never in my life have I ever told a girl I'll fly you out to anywhere. That's just weird to me. So after that, fast forward three months ahead of time after that whole thing. I say like three days ago, <laughs> The girl that messaged me that was upset because I didn't text her, DMs Natasha and she's like, girl, you back with him? Or girl, or something like that. Say something to it. <laughs> Tamia, I consider Tamia a, a bright young lady, but at the same time, Tamia, she's not used to a lot of things. Like she's not used to For example, she's not used to being on the camera all the time. Like she's not used to watching her mouth. She's not used to people attacking her to the to a certain extent about certain things that she does. Like she doesn't understand it because that's not what she's used to. She's not used to being careful um, and stuff like that. So she responds to the girl. I guess the girl says the same thing as she told her before, like he was trying to fly me out. And then Tamia gets mad at me. All over again. It's mad at me. And it's like, oh, she said unblock her so she so I could see the DMs to when you were I guess talking to her or something. So I'm like I give her the phone. She unblocks the person or whatever. Mind you, I'm telling the story all wrong. I didn't know that she was, I gave her my phone in general. She never told me why I gave her the phone. Then when I saw what she was doing, I'm like, what the heck? So I sit there, I look at her and I see that she's unblocking somebody. And then I see it's that girl. And then I see that she's looking at the DMs. And then I'm sitting there like frustrated, like where did this girl come from? Then some of my hair snapped, I'm like, Wait, why are you tripping about something? Me and you, we weren't even together. You tripping on something that me and you wasn't even together. You was talking to me like a dog online. I was sitting here not thinking about you doing what I was doing, doing doing whatever I was doing, whatever dumb stuff I was doing, making videos. And you sitting here letting somebody manipulate you into being upset with me and not being happy because they just want to see you upset. So, she takes the bait. And at that point, I take the phone. And I'm like, no, we're not doing this. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you 
about something that never ever happened. Like something, I never met this girl. I never text this girl. I never FaceTime this girl. The girl told her I FaceTimed her. I text her. I guess she told her I met her. I don't, she told her all this weird stuff said that me and her were together when I was talking to her. All of this. I never talked to no girl while I was with, while I was with Natasha. Never. Never. So, in my mind, it's annoying because to me, it's like, that lying to my face. And I'm like, I'm not lying to you. That lying to my face. Consistently thinking that I'm lying to her. So now we here, y'all. <laughs> now we here, and I got an angry ass girl because she let somebody else attack our relationship, which is plenty more to come. And her main thing is, is that it's a girl contacting her, which in my head, I'm like, well, technically she contacted you and me and you weren't even together to tell you something that wasn't even true. And I didn't pay any mind to it at that point because I'm like, it's not true. It doesn't matter. I'm not with you and I'm not with her. I don't even know her. And now somehow the girl comes up. The girl has a boyfriend now too. And the girl DMs my girlfriend. And Samia just falls for it and gets upset with me. So at this point, I had two options. I could sit there and I could just buy into it and argue it. This, that, and the third. Samia was already upset that I moved to California while me and her were together. I moved to California to create more content. I moved to California because that's where I felt like I was more comfortable doing content instead of Philadelphia. And I did videos with a young lady out there. Um, so Tamia was already mad at me about that. But this took her, you know, to where she's a little bit more upset. And I feel like it was just somebody just trying to take her joy. Um, because they didn't take my joy. Like, I'm still Gucci Gucci, you feel me? But it took her joy, made her upset. Um, and my main thing with this point is that, like, I can't do nothing about it. I told her the truth. I told her I didn't do anything. She's like, well, let me see this. Let me see that. Every time it's something else, it's a, let me see this. Let me see this. And then after you, and then after you let me see this, it's let me see this. Or why did you do that? Like, it's a consistent thing. So the only way to sit there and get through it is to let her be, let her be upset. If she wants to move on, let her move on. If she wants to stay, let her stay. Like, it's literally nothing I can do because I literally did nothing wrong. But in her heart, she feels like I did something wrong. And let me tell y'all that. No, I can't tell y'all that. I can't tell y'all that. I can't tell y'all why I think she's acting this way, which is not actually a bad reason. It's actually something she can't. I, don't, I just think that she can't control it. I, think, I, don't, I don't know what's wrong with her right now. But yeah, she's snapping on me for no reason, to be honest with you. I can't say for no reason, but she's letting someone control her mind or manipulate her. And I don't want to go into 2019 like that, y'all. I really don't. I don't want to go into 2019 like that. And I don't want to be looked at like that because I never, ever attempted to cheat on to me. I never would. You know, if I'm building a brand with you and if I'm working with you and I'm happy I got my children with you, we just got an apartment no reason for me to cheat on you um and also another reason why i'm just like not really entertaining the situation is because from where i'm from y'all if me and you are not together <laughs> you can't be upset with anybody for doing anything when you are not together with them or you you let it be known you don't want to be with them at the time and at that time me and you both me and her both said we want to be with each other so why is she getting mad all of a sudden with like with somebody is telling her about something when well, me and that girl were not together? And then it's just ironic that the person knows we're not together and the person knew that you didn't like me or knew that you were upset with me and you were talking about me. So they just felt like, oh yeah, I'm gonna poison this person's mind because this guy blasted me out and now I'm mad at her. I mean, I'm mad at him, so I'm just gonna get him back with his girl. And that's all it is. And the reason why I'm saying this story is because I want like people that are doing YouTube and content creators to be wary of it. Because I don't want, if, if I go through something, 
on this YouTube journey, I want people to be able to sit there and I want people to be warned and so that they can, you know, anticipate it so that they can handle it better or they can make sure it doesn't happen to them. So it's like, make sure you keep your business offline and then people won't see the weakness in your relationship. And it's like, most of the things me and Natasha were, were doing or how we felt or what we said and things like that, like, we didn't really mean much of that from our hearts because we were just upset, you know what I mean? Young, dumb, upset. Now we, we, we put our life on the internet, so now we use this, this internet stuff as a venting tool when it's not really a vessel to be doing that. Um, and then once you sit there and you vent and you say certain things online, then people use it against you. Like right now, how I'm sitting here telling you guys the problem that me and her going through, it trolls can sit there and they can use it against us. They can say, oh yeah, y'all this, y'all that. Or our supporters could be like, hey, Brandon this, you should do this. Or hey, Brandon this, or hey, Tamia this. You know what I mean? Support. The only reason why I'm saying the issue right now is because I think that it's crucial for people to know um, and maybe she watches too. I mean, she already knows everything that I said. And yeah, like, I just want you guys to know what's going on. Um, but I feel like it's just a crucial part, part, like, to where it's like, just be wary of what you guys do or put on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. Because somebody don't like you, they're going to try to use it against you. Period. Period, you know? So that's really important, but yeah, that's that's why that's the little story of time of why Natasha is mad at me. But I think she'll get over it. I know for a fact that I didn't do anything wrong. That's the reason why I'm not like really upset at all because I didn't do anything. Like I literally didn't do anything. It's just an evil person trying to do evil things. But I know that my God has me, um, so I'm not really tripping on it. But that's the story time, y'all. I just wanted to keep you guys updated. I love you guys so much, man. Um, it, to me, if you are watching this with your big head, ow, if you are watching this, I love you to death, you feel me? Um, I hope that you stop acting crazy and come back to your senses and stop letting this, this situation get to you because it don't need to be getting in your big head because ain't nobody cheating on you. I love you to death. Um, and yeah, that's all. You already know how to go, you feel me? You already know how we go. You already know how we go. You already know how it goes, snook and book them. You feel me? Ain't nobody cheating on you, girl. So, yeah, y'all, that's, that's that's my story time, man. Now I gotta I gotta go get over here to the Eagles game party, but with, with with the fam. Um, but yeah, man. Um, I love I love her to death. I would take all my social media down if if, if it had to do with all the drama caused. Um in a relationship and all that like I, I just I want my main thing is to have my family happy you know what I mean to the girl to the girl <sighs> to the girl I cheated with to the girl I don't know how I cheated with you with you but let let's talk let's have a talk to the girl that I I don't even know what I'm accused of, to be honest with you. But to the girl that I, uh, um, what did, I should say I did. She didn't really say I did anything. Oh, to the girl that I asked to fly, I'm just right with it. The girl that I asked to fly to California. Why did you never come? You thought who was flying you out? Me? Heck no. But this is what I want to say to you. Attacking people will never get you far. Um, I wish you the best with your, new, with your relationship. I wish you the best with whatever you have in your life going on. Um, I met you at a rental car spot, so I hope you, I wish you the best with, with, with the continuation of your enterprise job and, and all that. And I, I wish you the best. I don't hate you or I'm not upset. You didn't get to me. Um, but I think attacking someone's mind that isn't prepared for that was was pretty low on you. I'd rather you you know send your boyfriend this way or something like that, and sit there and talk to my girl and try to lie to make problems. But because you know that we are we 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 are a brand, so you just felt like attacking you. And I understand how Philly, uh, some Philly ignorance goes. Um, 
but you failed because I guarantee you at the end of the day, we gonna be back at it and jumping up and down like rabbits. And you're going to still be hopping in DMs talking about, hey, your boyfriend tried to um, fly me out to Alaska. Like, girl, if you don't get your peanut looking ass head out of here, you don't even have the credentials to pack a bag to anywhere I'm going to. So I don't even know where it comes from. It's just my girlfriend's not at all used to any type any type of female DMing her or nothing like that. So you're a nut. Um but it is what it is, you feel me? Like karma will come back. I don't even like Queen, but her song Karma, you know, you should take a couple spins on that John. I really don't care. To be honest with you, none you did affect me at all. Because me and you both know the truth, and we know that I didn't do anything for you or to you. Didn't didn't even think enough to, to 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 pick you up and take you to McDonald's. Not even that. I didn't think enough to even pick up a phone and get and, and get you and, and text you. <laughs> get it and me and you both know what it is and sadly she don't but it's a learning lesson man it's a learning lesson it's a learning lesson I, I feel like it just shows that you know it shows where you gotta improve on and what you gotta do but other than that man you a dub you a dub <laughs> and I mean I wish you the best though I really do I wish you happiness because it just shows that you're better it shows that you're unhappy with your boyfriend that's really what it shows. You're unhappy with your boyfriend. And that ain't my problem. That ain't my problem that you're so unhappy with your boyfriend that you're not occupied enough with him to, to, to be with him. <laughs> Spend money with him. Maybe fly out to L.A. with him. Instead, you with my girl DM. That's weird. And you was in my girl DM when I wasn't even with her. That's weird. But I know she's a smart girl. And eventually, she'll, you know learn and show realize that it's a whole bunch of bs but until then man i wish you the best but bt gang man it's enough talking about this trash i just wanted to let you guys know what's up man make sure you actually tune into the video they still will be coming every day you already should know how to go man just be back with another video thank you guys for watching bt gang is out